this is Tomlin from TomlinHarmonicaLessons.com and I thought it was probably time that I should tell you uh, what keys of harmonica you need um, to kind of get by in a blues scenario. Uh, so you will definitely have a C harmonica, everyone starts on a C harmonica, but the question is what harmonica do I get next? So you know that there are 12 keys in music uh, and logically that would mean that you needed to buy 12 different keys of harmonica. But the reality is that you're not actually going to be playing in all 12 keys um, unless you're playing some other styles of music or if you're just really unlucky and you have a weird guitarist in your band. Um, but yeah, basically that's the issue. You need to play the keys that guitarists are comfortable playing. Um, so there are, there are six harmonicas that you really need. Um, and I'll kind of talk you through um, you know, which ones they are and the, a little bit of the differences between them. So you started on C harmonica, that's kind of a middle, middle range harmonica. Um, other harmonicas that you'll need in your collection, you will need an A harmonica. Um, a harmonica means that you can play in E in second position. So this is a lower key harmonica to, to the C and it sounds like this. <laughs> So it's nice and deep. You'll feel that it, it's quite different to play. They're, they're a little bit slower to respond. The lower the key of the harmonica, the more air you need and the slower it is to play. But that, that's kind of part of its charm as well. So you need an A harmonica. The next harmonica you need uh, to get will be a D harmonica. So that's a high harmonica. So I'm just going to show you the difference between a low and a high harmonica and then I'll talk you through. So D harmonica means you can play uh, in the key of A with a guitarist in second position. So it's much higher pitched, they respond much quicker. So anyway, you now have three harmonicas. You've got your C, you've got your A, and you've got your D. So the next harmonicas that you should get should be a B flat harmonica. Uh, that means you can play in the key of F. Um, then you should get a G harmonica. So that's even lower than the A harmonica. Um, and then you should get an F harmonica, which is really, really high. It's even higher than the D harmonica. Uh, so the G harmonica means you can play in D and the F harmonica means you can play in C. And right now you're thinking, how am I going to remember all of these keys and all of the keys that means I can play in? You don't need to remember it, you just need to remember how you can work it out. So you take the harmonica that you, that you want, that you pick up, and to work out what key the band are playing in, what key the guitarist is playing in, you count up five letters through the alphabet. So for example, if your harmonica is in the key of A, you go A, B, C, D, E. And that means you're playing an E in second position. Now that works for all the keys except for one. So works for C, C, D, E, F, G. Works for D, D, E, F, G, A. But the one key that it doesn't work for is B flat. So, uh, B flat, so it's going to take you up to an F and you're going to be thinking it's probably an F flat, it's not, it is an F natural. And the same thing is true of a B harmonica. So B flat will take you to an F natural and a B harmonica will take you to an F sharp. So those are the only weird uh, situations you're going to find yourself in in second position. Uh, but anyway, I have made a chart of all the harmonica keys and what position you'll be playing in, what key you'll be playing in second position and what key you'll be playing in third position, which you can download by clicking on the link below. But it's also good to remember that little rule, count up five letters from the original key. So thank you very much for watching this. I know it's a bit kind of theory, a little bit less fun than playing the blues, but it's quite useful to know what harmonicas you should be buying. And with those six, you'll be able to play most keys uh, of blues. There will be slight exceptions every so often, but that's what you use most of the time. Thank you very much.